Hello. Hi, this is a quick introduction to Windows 8 and installation on VMware Fusion. As you can see, this is version 4.13 of VMware Fusion, which is running on the Mac. And I'm going to walk you through a quick Windows 8 installation. So to begin, you want to click on File New, and we're going to create a new virtual machine. I am currently using an ISO, a disk image. You can actually insert a disk if you have one. So I'm going to navigate to the um, desktop and pick up my Windows 8 Pro 64-bit ISO disk image and at this point you hit continue it's going to ask you what operating system you want to use you select Windows and the version is supposed to be 8 but as you can see because this is an, an older version of VMware from Fusion um, Windows 8 doesn't seem to be supported as a preset um, operating system which isn't a big deal so I just select the closest which is Windows 7 64 bit and hit continue. What this does it it actually just gives you a pre-configured um, summary. In this case Windows 7, 1 gig, 60 gigabyte and basically if you want you can customize. I'm just going to click finish and then you'll basically identify the name of your VM. So I'm just going to change it from 7 to 8. You can put 64 bit, but I'm just going to keep it simple and say Windows 8. Um, so it begins. So basically, it's going to start its loading process. Um, it does take a short while, it doesn't take too long. So you're prompted to hit next. Everything else checks out fine, so you can just proceed. And click on next, and you can hit install now. As you can see, it just says setup is starting. Um, it's just going to run through, similar to Windows 7. Um, you basically want to accept your ter license terms. Click next. Um, since this is a fresh install, there's no need to use the upgrade version. You basically want to do a custom install, install Windows only, and you identify the space. In this case, it is drive zero. So I'm going to click next. It's already partitioned and. Basically, it's going to go through the process of getting the files ready for installation. Then it's going to install features and then update and finally finish. So it's very similar to the Windows 7 setup. So it's about six percent in and. doesn't take that long to actually install it. it. It goes through it pretty quickly. So if at any time you want to skip this part, 
of the installation you can just click the links below and it will jump you to the part of the video where you can actually um, see what happens in the next stage so this is the setup process and we have about five minutes into the installation process already and um, once again I'm running Windows 8 on Mac operating system um, this is Lion and it's running on VMware 4.1.3 and so far the installation process is going on smoothly and we're at 60 percent Okay, so we just reached a hundred percent mark and now it's installing and it's installed the updates and it's going to be finishing up shortly. So it's relatively fast and we're already about seven minutes in um, since we started and it's rebooting the Windows environment. So it should be up and running in a few seconds. It's gone through another reboot and we're about 9 minutes 40 seconds into the um, installation process and Windows 8 seems like it's almost up. Okay, we just hit the 10 minute mark and at the 10 minute mark 
we are about to personalize our Windows 8 experience. So we start by entering your PC name. In this case, I could call it Productive Windows 8. And at this point, you can choose whatever color you prefer. We'll go with something like that. Click next. Looks like my name is too long, so I'll just call it productive. Click next. Um, you can choose to go through with the express settings, or you can go in and customize however you wish. Um, in this case, I'll just use the express settings because it's a quick unboxing. Um, since I do not have a Windows uh, Microsoft account, I'm just going to say sign in without a Microsoft account. If you do have a Microsoft account, you can feel free to use it. And at this point, you can just click on Microsoft account or local account. Um, at some point, you will need to sign up with Microsoft in order to utilize uh, Windows 8 properly. Um, so at this point, I will just create my username. give it a hit and then you hit finish in order for it to finalize your settings. Give it a nice greeting and it begins its setup process. A little tutorial and so far we are about 12 minutes in so I would say it's about a 15 minute setup process This is taking a few minutes and there you have it. So we've actually logged in to our environment. I have it running on a small screen. So the next video will actually start going through the use of that environment. So as you can see, I'm logged in. I do have a few things here, including Internet Explorer, which we're all very familiar with. Um, as you can see, things are slightly different um, from what you expect in Windows 7 or Vista or XP. This is a new style. And for some reason, I'm not connected to the internet as of yet. Um, so to go back to the start menu, you can go to the corner and hit start. And then we're back to the start menu. So this is basically what you have on um, the start screen. Um, this is your user. You can lock the user, change the picture, or you can sign out. So I'm going to sign out. At this point, I have an option to sign back in or shut down. So I'm shutting down the installation. I have logged in successfully. I have installed Windows 8 successfully. And at this point, I will sign off and shut down my virtual machine. Thank you very much for taking the time to look at my video. And um, subsequent videos will show you how to use um, Windows 8. Thank you.